What's up, Stackin' Ohana? This is Aloha Stacker, and welcome back to my channel, and we did it. This is the 50th video and my final video of the year. Thank you very much, everybody, for all the support and friendship. We just hit 672 subscribers, so please help me get to 700 before the end of January, and that would be great. But today's video is all about Black Friday and all the gold silver and platinum I picked up and probably it, the largest purchases I've ever made and probably will ever make considering I don't think I can ever do that again and I cannot wait so please stay tuned I cannot wait to show all of this off to you uh, piece by piece so we'll do my quick plug for the channel round there are only seven remaining now they were all struck in normal so if you order an antique it will be done on the spot and added to so seven more to go and then the first run is over and, we can st and I can start working on Generation 2, and I've got some really cool plans for 2021. So let's get these out of here so that we can get the next one going. And link to Silversmith Shield's website will be in the description right below the description of the video. Now, let's move on to the 500 subscriber guy, because as you know, every video we add something new. But first, of course, i got to show off everything that's in it. So real quick, got ourselves a Winnipeg Canadian Silver Dollar, 1974. 1967 Kennedy half dollar 40 percent a mercury dime and a standing liberty quarter each one of these is an individual prize a half ounce from Australia of our of a beautiful tiger shark from 2016 a Canadian silver dollar from 1966 Patriot stacker so I just showed one of these off in your video today awesome a secret prize, a special prize from our good friend Silver Nitrate, donated from Nitrate. And the number one prize, channel round number three, which looks identical to channel round number one, except it's got a three on it. And you got the hibiscus and a little bit of ripples. And, and what we're adding today, we are going to add ourselves three St. Helena guineas, one tenth ounce. So this will be 0.3 ounces of silver. These are all 2020. Beautifully uncirculated condition, and this is prize, I believe, number eight, right? So that's what we got one, we got two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, yeah, so this is prize number eight. So probably only two more to go before the draw commences. But this will be my last video of the year, just so you all know. And uh, I'm going to take a two week hiatus, I'm going to take a break from YouTube, let my batteries recharge. I, I've been saying that, and uh, this will be the last video before that because I wanted to just dump it all on you before I, before I uh, took a break. So, moving on, we're going to go ahead and show the one piece of channel mail that came in the mail today, as a matter of fact. So, since it came today, it's going to get open today. And this is from our good friend, Sean47. Now, of course, I've cut for timing, as always, because we don't like to waste time because my videos are already long enough. But thank you, Sean47. I got, it looks like I got a magnet. And a couple stickers or two magnets and a couple stickers so thank you very much sean 47. a little note oh nope got another sticker and what do we got here aloha stacker love the channel here are some stickers and magnets as promised sorry it took so long for me to get them out to you sean 47. hey man you don't gotta apologize for nothing i understand things take time look i'm out of holographic stickers so i'm trying not to uh, have anybody ask for swag at this time until i can repopulate and that probably won't be till shortly after the new year now i do have lots of everything else so if you don't mind and you want stuff you go ahead and email and see what we can do all right that takes care of our good friend sean 47 so let's move on to the good stuff and we're going to start with some silver from lpm and what could it be because I've, you've seen this before the one percent of the entire mintage of the uh the batavia because they only made a thousand I got 10. The same with the, uh, I forget how to pronounce this. This is the Virgold Drake. So that's the second series of the antiques. So that's 1% of those, 1% of those. Well, what can be in here? Could it be 1% of the, of the third series? I think it is. Now look at that, that's a beautiful coin. That actually looks really good compared to the other series. And then we got ourselves the Zupdorp. Number three, antiqued, 10 rounds, Boom, 1%, 1%, 1% of all 1,000 rounds made, and I've got them. And starting next year, like I said, I've, I've, been, I've been toying with this in my in my mind to uh, to go ahead and start offering these up for sale or for trade based on their value. I will undercut anybody who's got the best value out there to hook up the stacking community. So that is my plan. Stand by for that. I think that's, and this is the first time hearing about that for everybody, so that is pretty cool. But let's see, can we, how can, let's see, can we, uh, 
I wonder, can these be stacked like a pyramid? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Because we got a lot more to get to, and I don't want to waste any more time. But I don't want it to, like, yeah, it's going to fall apart. But this thing looks kind of cool. Maybe I could do it like this. There we go. That's 30 ounces of silver right there, all triangular. Here. You know what we'll do? We'll just, we'll just put them up. We'll put them up in ship direction, so that way everybody can kind of see them hanging out in the lower corner. So that's from LPM. I got all three from LPM, pre-ordered. The Zoop Dorp finally got here a couple days ago, so I wanted to show it off. And it's a beautiful antique coin. All right, let's go ahead and move on to bold precious metals. And we're going to continue on with our silver. And we're going to start with this. I picked up a tube of 2021 Britannias. So let's bust this open and show one off. I might need to get a glove on for this, no? So gotten pretty good at opening these tubes now, now that I can use a knife. Give me a quick second, everybody. I'm going to throw a glove on just so that I can touch the coins and nobody gets upset. Plus these, I know they've got the extra security features in them. I don't know how they are, if they've got like the Canadian anti-moking technology, but I'm not going to take the chance. Let's go ahead and bust it open and show off what we got here. So we got ourselves a 2021 Britannia. Look how beautiful that is. I've seen these on a lot of channels. I pre-ordered these a long time ago and they finally made it. And the reason why is because I pre-ordered it with other items that didn't come out till way later. But look at that. I love the waves in the background. This is just, and then you got the little privy, got the little privy down there in the corner. I don't know if we can bring that up to, uh, let's see if we can bring that into clarity and see if we can show it. Uh, that's pretty tough. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. No big deal. You see, you've all seen these before. So very nice. All right, put that away. We'll move on. So there's 25 in a tube. I've got another tube. Uh, I've got a bunch, I got a couple of the tubes of the 2020s, but, uh, and boom. 25 ounces of silver. I know you guys haven't noticed this, have you? All the proofs that I showed off in yesterday's video. <laughs> and speaking of Libertads, uh, I didn't know this was coming today, and I was actually pretty shocked, but boom. Uh, what are you doing? Clear. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a tube of 25 2020 Libertads. These don't, I don't know if this is like the actual Mexican mint casing, but uh, I don't know. Should we take a look at them? Let's take a look at them. Let's use our, our old trusty here to wedge this open, and there we go, and there they are. I think we only need to show off that direction, and the reason why is because you've all seen the back, and I don't really want to touch any of these 2020s, but there's a tube of 25 added to the stack, boom, 25 2020 Libertads. All right, I'm gonna pull the, I'm gonna pull the glove off now, just because I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna put the knife away, because we don't need that anymore. Now we're gonna move on to the next piece of silver that I acquired, and this is also from Bold Precious Metals, and I got myself a No Time to Die James Bond 10 ounce bar. Check that out. Now that is a 10 ounce chunk. Now look, it's got the name of every single James Bond movie in it, if you can see. Now it's still in the original wrapper. I'm not gonna cut this out. I, I have no interest in doing that, but it is so cool. Look at it, it's got the names of all the Bond movies in there. Okay, look at that reflection. You can see my whole camera setup. <laughs> uh, it's just, silver is so shiny. Isn't that awesome? And these, they're, they only made, uh, let's see, these have only a mintage, I believe, of 6,000. Yep, 6,000. So 6,000 of these are, that's it that's being made. And they're still on sale and they're not that expensive. And it's cool, you got the symbol of the Royal Mint, you got 007, that's uh, 10 ounce fine silver, No Time to Die, I think is the latest movie that'll be coming out shortly. So that's pretty neat. So boom, 10 ounces of silver. So that's, what is that, 50, 60? So that's 90 ounces of silver just sitting right there. Craziness. Now, we have to follow that up with something in gold, right? I think that's enough for silver for now. What do you think? I do. Boom. We got the gold version. Now, it's in this plastic wrapping, and it's sealed. You know what? I was, I was thinking about not cutting it out of that, but you know what? I want to see this thing in better, better shape. And I have it. So let's do this live on camera during the video so we can see this as it's meant to be seen. And there we go, 007, fine gold. Same exact thing, same exact bar, just just uh, as you can see, it's just bigger. But I've got the one ounce gold version and these, they only minted, uh, let's see, I've got this written down as well. No time to that, 5,000. So only uh, 5,000 of these will ever be minted and I've got one of them. So what do you think? So far, so good. One ounce of gold. But why stop there with the British gold? You know what I mean? Let's just go ahead and move 
and keep it going. Then we got ourselves a Britannia. This one we'll take out because it is gold and there's no chance of, this one's not gonna tarnish because it's four nines fine. There we go, look at that. There she is, the queen. And there is the obverse. Check that out. So beautiful, four nines fine gold. Now these don't have mintages yet because they're new and they're still being made and sold, so that we probably won't get final mintage numbers on this till way later. But the reeded edge, just, I just can't stand it. I just love looking at that side. That is just wonderful. Let's go ahead and put this back in the flip. And that's two ounces of gold. Very nice. Okay. While we're moving on, uh, I've got a BPN flip and I got some more stuff in here. I think we're going, I think we're gonna go down under now and uh, see so what we have to offer from down from down under. And there we have it. Our first, let's see if we can clarify that a little bit. There we go. We got ourselves a $15 Australia, Elizabeth II, and what's on the back? The Kookaburra, 2021 Kookaburra, one tenth ounce, 15,000 minted. Now, apparently the last year, that was the first year they did these, and they were super popular, and they sold out really, really fast. But but this year, I don't know. We'll see. 15,000. I got this. Uh, and remember, I got this all during Black Friday. You remember, gold was cheap back then. You know, we had dropped under $1,800 an ounce, so all, my, all these gold purchases were made at under $1,800 an ounce. Now, with, with premiums, I was probably a little over 1800 which is fine, but with gold at 1700 you know, I got a bargain. So that is a, that is a really cool, that is really neat. So a little one-tenth ouncer, that adds, that makes it 2.1 ounce showing off so far. But why stop there? We still got more from down under. So we've got another one, $100, and we've got ourselves the 2021 kangaroo. Now, my goal was to get to 20, all the 2021s of all the major mints. So as you can see, I've already got the British one. Now I've got the, now I've got the Australian one. And this year's kangaroo is pretty nice. I am a fan of this, of this. I love the fact that the Australians change the kangaroo design every single year. I wish they would do it for the silver one because I find the silver one extremely boring. But, uh, and that's why I don't own any of them. <laughs> I don't own a single kangaroo uh, in silver. But uh, this is very nice, very nice. So I hope you enjoy that. So that puts us at a solid three ounces and 3.1 ounces of gold so far. We're gonna go ahead and move on. I have to uh, flip my script over so I can keep my mintages going so we know everything I was able to find out about. And we got ourselves a British Sovereign. And I got this from Guido Stacken. And you know, the interesting thing was is that I don't think he knew this when he sold it to me. So this is a 1927 Sovereign with uh, King, George on the, King George on the front. Let's see if I can clarify that. And on the back, of course, we've got St. George Slaying the Dragon. Now, this was actually, this is actually a South African sovereign. And the way I was able to tell that was because I, I looped right there where it says SA, really, really tiny letters. It says SA for South Africa, made in Pretoria. Uh, these are 917, these are 91.7% uh, fine. And they are 0.2355 ounces of gold. Uh, the, the mintage on this was 16,379,999. So that is a cool, and I love that. I love the I love the British sovereigns. I think this is my second one. I have one more, uh, so this is only my second one I ever purchased. So thank you, Guido Stacken. I appreciate it. I got a good deal on it. Nothing I can complain about, and that will be added to the gold stack. Actually, I start might as well just start busting this stuff, opening this up for. All right. So next, Liberty Gold or Liberty Coin. So Liberty Coin on uh, Black Friday ran a good deal on eBay, and I was able to get. A 50 peso. Boom. A 50 peso, 1947. And you know these are 1.2056 ounces of gold. And you know this is one of this is actually my favorite gold coin. So I now this is now the second one I will own of these because the first one is sitting over in that corner. Let me see if I can clear that up. Boom. There, there she is over there. But let's go ahead and get back to the one at hand, the newbie. And we got ourselves 50 pesos and the beautiful, beautiful uh Eagle on the back, and the really, really cool lettering where it says Independencia Libertad around the frame. So that is that is just awesome. Look at the look at how pretty that is. Let's see if I can is that clear enough for everybody? I hope so. Very, very nice. Now these, the mintage is interesting on these. So these, so between 1949 and 1972, or well, 1947, 309,000 were minted, but in 1949. 
1972, they minted another additional 3,975,654, all with the same year, 1947. And then from 2000, 2017, they made another 473,900. So, so how do I know when this one was actually made? I have no idea. And if anybody knows how to identify that, let me know in the comments, because that would be something really nice to know, because I have no idea. So we will add that to the gold stack. Moving on. I picked up a one ounce American Gold Eagle. And this one is from the year 1990. In 1990, they minted 373,210, and it's got the front St. Gaudens uh, from the, uh, the St. Gaudens uh, $20 gold pieces. And on the back, we have some eagles nesting. We have uh, nesting with their babies. I'm not gonna take this one out of the flip. You've all seen what these look like. Uh, so it's very beautiful. Uh, this is my first uh, American Gold Eagle with Roman numerals on it though. So that's pretty exciting. I, I wish they would have kept up with the Roman numerals. I actually am a fan of the way that looks and uh, would have stayed. it would have been cool if they would have stayed like that, I think. But I got this from Nationwide and uh, this was on a Reddit, on the Reddit feed for a gold and silver deal on silver deals. And somebody was asking if this company was legit. I paid eighteen fifteen for this, $1,815 and $1,815 for this under spot. All you got to do is call them up, say you want, or you go to their website, you email them, they call you back. They try to sell you some other stuff. You can take it. You don't have to take it. I didn't take anything else. I just took the $1,815 one ounce piece of gold, which I thought was a bargain. And, uh, I got my dad to do it. <laughs> and, uh, all the people that were on that Reddit site, it's legit. They said, you just got to just deal with them trying to sell you some extra stuff. And, you know, it wasn't even that bad, to be honest. They barely even made an attempt. And Littleton is way worse by comparison. And Littleton doesn't give you deals like this on an ounce of gold. So one ounce. So now what is that? I don't even know what that puts our total to. All I know is we've got a table full of gold right here. Check that out. <laughs> and I, you can't even see it all because I have, I have, let me see if I can move some stuff around and if we can get that gold all so you can see all the pieces that are been, there we go. All right. So moving on. I made a deal with uh, Flatline Racer. As, uh, you guys know Flatline Racer. He designs a lot of our logos and our intros and outros. Here's one of his cool stickers. Here's another one of his cool stickers. And here's another one of his cool stickers. Thank you, Flatline Racer. Him and I made a deal together. He asked me if I was interested in buying some of his gold. Uh, I said, what do you got? He uh, let me know, and I said, yeah, let's do it. So the first piece he sold me was this. Let me see if I can pull this out. Let's see if I can get this out. So this is, well, I'll, I'll show you the slip first. This is a proof uh, American Gold Eagle, one tenth ounce. Certificate of authenticity. I'm not going to waste your time with that. It's a proof 1996 West Point Mint. And uh, the West Point Mint, this was uh, 57,047 of these were made. So that's it. And let's see if I can bust this baby out. And uh, there we go. Get him out of the box and get him on camera. I don't know what is going on with my camera today. It wants to be a jerk, but there we go. There it is, 1996. And they stopped the Roman numerals by then. But on the back, it's the same as the large one, so it's hard to see, but but this is a proof model, so it's a little bit shinier than the uh, the one I just showed you. But uh, but that's it. So that is a another uh, one-tenth ounce of gold, and it came in this really neat box, so I'll put it back away. So American Gold Eagle, one-tenth ounce. And what else did I get from him? Well, that wasn't it. There's more. So let's go ahead and bust out some other stuff that he gave me. Oh, so there's actually a piece of silver that he gave me. And this is a pretty neat little piece of silver. He, ga he gave me one of these. So this is a Mexican one peso, seven, 72%. And this is from 1933. And the mintage on the 1933 peso was 43920000 And this is 0 .3857 0 of an ounce of silver. And as you can see, we've got the nice edge. We got the nice edge lettering there. See, beautiful edge lettering. And I'll put that away. That's just another piece of silver that came. And uh, I think he just included this as a gift because uh, I didn't know he was going to send me a piece of uh, Mexican silver. But he uh, did get me a half gram of IGR gold, Istanbul Gold Refinery. And actually, gave me two. Got, got two of these. So. These are my first little half gram. I don't, this is the only half gram gold that I have like this that's slabbed kind of in this way. And you know, it's got the barcode and everything, so it should be scannable. But wait, half gram, so very nice. Thank you for that. Uh, we got ourselves a dose peso. Fish, where you at? Where you at, fish, where you at? 1945. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna worry about flipping this one over because everybody knows what the front end looks like. The back is the is the beauty anyway on the dos peso. This one actually is beautifully uncirculated. So 1945. So 1945 dos peso. 
Let me see what I've got on that. I think I've written down some information on that that I can pass to you. 4,590,493 of these were minted in 1945. Uh, dos pesos. So cool. Uh, one more dos pesos for the stack. And we got the next piece of gold that I got in that trade was a 1982 beautifully uncirculated Krugerrand. And I was able to actually find... There's, is that... So South Africa, Krugerrand. 1982, and this one, let's see, 1982 one-tenth Krugerrand, this was minted at 1,064,809, and I was able to actually find that from the South African Mint's own website, so that's cool, so that's another 10th ounce of gold. But wait, <laughs> we're not done, there's more. He included a gold back from 2019, and which is cool because I don't own any gold backs from 2019. Let's see if we can focus that a little bit better, it's going to be kind of, there we go. Um, so we got a 2019, the first year that they made them. This one, I guess, came from Atmex originally. But look at that. Very cool. And yesterday, in yesterday's video, you saw all my gold backs, so now I've got another one to show off. Okay, we've got some more stuff. So here we go. One gram from SMI. Sunshine Minting. So one gram of gold for that. Got ourselves a... One gram Canadian maple leaf. Very, very small. <laughs> and you can barely even make that out, right? Look at that. Boom. One gram, pure gold. But it's cool that they got like identification numbers on that too, so it can be tracked. And that is one tiny piece of gold for a gram. So. And then, also got a Barbados. $2, one. 20, uh, this is a uh, one fifth of an ounce. So that's very unique to get one fifth ounce coins. Let me see if I can bring that closer to clear. Probably that's about as close as we're going to get. And on the back it says, it says Barbados. 2017. Now the 2017 Barbados, only 5,000 of these were minted. And they were made actually by Scottsdale Mint, believe it or not. So I think this is my first Scottsdale gold that I own. Anything that made by Scottsdale this is the first one that I own. So there was no mintage on the 2020 maple, by the way. I was unable to find any because I think it's 2020 and just the mint final mintage numbers aren't out yet. So, and then the, there's the final piece that I got from Flatland Racer. And I got a slab. A 2010 Gold Eagle 1 10th ounce PCGS MS70. Beautiful, beautiful piece of gold right here. Perfect condition. Flip it this way so we can see the eagle doing the nesting. So another one tenth ounce gold, this one in a slab. So that's very cool. And that actually is pretty cool because in the mail today, I got these. I got some PCGS coin holders. I was able to find these at eBay dirt cheap and then the guy threw in an extra one. So I actually now got a bunch of these things. So now I'll be able to drop them all into these cases and that's pretty neat. Okay, everybody, that's it for the gold. Uh, it's over six ounces of gold, but we're not done yet. And I'm sorry for the long video, everybody, but we're, we are almost, almost finished. I promise you that I only got two items left to show, and then we are going to call it a night, and we're going to call it a year for me. But it's time to do some platinum. And we're going to start this platinum uh, with our friend Silver Nitrate, who I was able to do a trade with. And I got myself this. Single gram Pamp Swiss bars, 25 of them. So 25 Pamp Swiss Smiths Platinum. Down the back, and you got all the certifying information. So how neat is that? I don't. These are the only platinum bars that I own. All other ones that I have are in coin form. I've never owned anything like this. It's almost like a combi bar, except it's uh, except they're individualized. So I like it better like this. This is cool because you can just break off each piece if you ever needed to uh, use it for whatever reason. And this is helping get my platinum go up to five ounces. This brings me just over four with this one right here. And thank you very much, Silver Nitrate. I really appreciate it. This is a great. This is a great uh, great piece of platinum. And, but we're not done yet. Of course we're not done yet. We have one more piece to show, and we ended up getting one more ounce of platinum. And it's from 2018. And this is a one ounce American Platinum Eagle, Platinum Beast. I know you're watching, you better be. I just showed up a whole bunch of platinum, so you, I know you gotta be watching this. And please check out Platinum Beast, everybody. He is our platinum, he is our platinum guy. I mean, he does our all the videos on platinum. So anything you ever want to know about platinum, he will give it to you. He'll give you reasons to buy it, what it's used for, everything. And Fish, he, he digs some platinum too. So there's a few of us that do it into platinum. So 2018, American, and you, as you can see, I've got my 2017 over here. And if you remember in a previous video, I showed off a 2019 uh, PCGS 70 slabbed uh, American uh, Platinum Eagle, which means I'm just missing 2020. 
And 2020 is not a low mintage year for these, although they're all low technically because they do not make very many. So you know how it is. Uh, so I will try to get a 2020 next year and also a 2021, uh, and I plan on adding one ounce of platinum to the stack per year. That's it. I've reached my five ounce goal of platinum. It is it is the lowest part of my stack as far as the metals go, uh, followed by silver and then gold being my largest investment. And uh, that's it. That's it. That is the that is <laughs> the plethora. <laughs> Of metals I picked up on Black Friday. I got a great deal on mostly every single item you see there. Uh, I can't complain. I did good. As long as metals stay the way they are, we all won. <laughs> I want to thank you once again. 50th 50th video. You've all made this super successful. And uh, man, I love you guys. I love all y'all. And I cannot wait to see what 2021 brings us. So good luck and fame and fortune for all of us. <laughs> but anyway, take care. And as always, aloha and mahalo.